All right, so the REN protocol team has announced that you can use the REN bridge now. Um, this is super exciting just because it means that I can mint some REN Bitcoin. So I'm going to be brave and try it right now. Uh, what I did is I went to bridge.renproject.io. Then I connected my MetaMask wallet. <clears throat> I had to sign another two transactions uh, just to connect my three box. And then I ended up on this screen. So I put in how much Bitcoin I'm going to start with. And then you'll notice that if you wanted to do this with Zcash or Bitcoin Cash, you can do that as well. Um, you can create an ERC-20 token for REN Zcash or REN Bitcoin Cash. Uh, and then you notice here that this is the wallet, like my Ethereum wallet, where the REN Bitcoin will, sh will end up being received. And then here's how much I'll receive from this. This is less some of the fees that I'm going to incur. Uh, so if I click Next, I can see the breakdown of those fees. They're, they're I think, arguably small. Uh, so I've got a, a REN VM fee here and then your standard Bitcoin network fee. So something that you have to pay for no matter what. Uh, what I like is that I don't have to back calculate like how much I need to add in terms of fees to get the transaction to go through. It just deducts it <clears throat> from the total Bitcoin that I'm starting with. So I'm gonna hit confirm. And there we go. So <clears throat> this is where I'm gonna send my Bitcoin to. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, I am able to delete this and start over with another transfer. So if you feel like the total um, needs to be changed, you can just click on the little widget here. Uh, and then notice here's the REN VM network fees. So it's 0.1% plus this smaller 0 0.00035 Bitcoin. And that's it. So I'll be back to see uh, what happens after I deposit my Bitcoin. All right, so I'm back after six block confirmations. So uh, the first part of my converting uh, my Bitcoin to REN Bitcoin, I guess, is taken care of. And I don't know, this is the first time I've done this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the submit to Ethereum button. All right, and let me reshare my screen so you can see the, uh, the pop-up here. All right, so I've got my, my MetaMask window and looks like I'm gonna pay $1.61 in gas. And I'm just gonna double check what the gas prices are. So I'm just checking this on my phone. And it looks like, <laughs> it looks, gas is still expensive. So I'm gonna spend 29 guay, put the gas price at 29 guay. And let's go ahead and hit confirm. All right, so I've got my transaction hash. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. So I'll be back in just a bit to see whenever this settles. All right, so that's it. I uh, got my, my REN BTC. I've got 0 0.009 REN BTC, which is about $100 worth. Uh, but I'm just super excited. This was so easy to use. And I just, again, I just followed the instructions on bridge.renproject.io. And uh, you'll notice that, so after I did my initial Bitcoin deposit, uh, I then had to click that button, submit to Ethereum. And then this was the final screen that I saw. So I've, I've checked my, my wallet, I've checked the Ethereum uh, transaction hash, and I've, I can see here I've got it. So. And so now that I've got this ERC-20 token, I can go play with it with all the different DeFi apps. Now, one limitation at the moment, of course, is liquidity. This just went live. And, and so there's not a whole lot of REN Bitcoin yet on Ethereum. Uh, but the one thing I did find I can do is I can use one inch exchange, which is a DEX aggregator to swap over to wrapped Bitcoin. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take the wrapped Bitcoin and go open up a MakerDAO loan. So once you get over to one inch exchange with your REN Bitcoin, uh, just, you know, make sure you set the gas price here. And then there's going to be two transactions. The first one is to enable one inch exchange to move my REN Bitcoin. And then the second one, after I do this, this transaction that tends to be a little bit 
uh, cheaper, I'm going to actually swap it then. Uh, so I'll, I'll then have wrapped Bitcoin and I can head over to open up a vault with MakerDAO. All right, so I've swapped over my, my Ren Bitcoin for wrapped Bitcoin. And now I can go over to DeFi Saver. This is where I'm going to open up uh, a vault or what used to be called a CDP through Maker. So this means that I'm going to take my wrapped Bitcoin and I'm going to collateralize that. I'm going to deposit it. And then that is, is there in Maker while I take out a loan in DAI. So collateral, wrapped Bitcoin, debt, or loan that I'm taking is in DAI. The reason that I like DeFi Saver, um, the reason I think it's so interesting to use is the fact that you can take your, your DAI and you can uh, leverage it. So you can turn it immediately into wrapped Bitcoin and then deposit that. So remember that my collateral ratio needs to remain above 150%. And so when I take out a loan like this, if I don't leverage that DAI, in this case, I, I now have a collateral ratio of 203%, but if I leverage it, now I'm at 304%. Uh, and then you'll notice here that as I'm depositing, if, if I take out my DAI uh, and I don't leverage it, my liquidation price is around 6,700, but then if I turn that into more wrapped Bitcoin and I deposit it, I now have a, a larger collateral ratio, and I also have a liquidation price that drops. So again, that dropped from 6,700 all the way down to 4,500. And then the last thing I could do here is just take out less DAI, and now the, the liquidation price keeps dropping and the collateral ratio keeps rising. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I'm, I'm gonna, just to prove a point, I'm gonna take out half the value of what I'm depositing, 45 DAI, because that's, that's actually quite a bit, but I'm gonna make use of the fact that I've got this higher collateral ratio thanks to the the ability to use a flash loan on DeFi Saver. Okay, so I've finally done it. I am so excited for this. I have been waiting weeks to, to do this. I've wanted to just, you know, use my Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network to open up a loan uh, with MakerDAO. And so uh, I deposited 0 0.01 wrapped Bitcoin and if you recall, that originated from Ren Bitcoin, which originated from Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. And then I've taken out a loan of 45 DAI. My collateralization ratio is very healthy at 303%. I've got a liquidation price, if we check here, of I think it's around 4,500 US dollars. So if we look at this, yeah, there we go. So my, 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 my liquidation price at this point in time when Bitcoin is up around $9,200 would be around 4,500 US dollars. And uh, yeah, just, just I, I can't say enough good things about Ren. I mean, this was so easy to use today. And so again, I, if you start with bridge.renproject.io, I can take my Bitcoin, swap it for Ren Bitcoin for very little fees. Uh, and then hop over to one inch and I can exchange my Ren Bitcoin to wrapped Bitcoin. And then from there, I can go to DeFi Saver or you could go to Oasis as well. But I chose this because I was able to open up a leveraged uh, CDP, which just means that um, I, have, I have taken the die uh, from my maker loan and I have uh, swapped it for wrapped Bitcoin and then deposited it into my vault, which gives me a healthier collateralization ratio and a lower liquidation price, um, which is all reflected here in the $4,500 liquidation price. Uh, otherwise, I think it would be around like $6,700. So let me know if you have any questions and um, I hope you find this helpful. And uh, like this, this is just the start of what's going to be ubiquitous across Ethereum. You're, you're just going to you're gonna forget a time when you couldn't get your Bitcoin over to Ethereum and make use of it using DeFi. Good luck everyone, hope this helps. So before I go, I, I wanna call out as many distinct risks as I can think of if you were to try to replicate going from Bitcoin to Ren Bitcoin to wrapped Bitcoin to opening up a, a vault like I've done. Uh, so first off, any of these applications can have a smart contract bug in them. 
uh, no matter what audits have been done, there's always that risk. Uh, so just please keep in mind that Renbridge especially is brand new. Uh, and so it just means that any money that you deposit into these applications, like assume that you could lose all of it. So I would, I would be very cautious there. Uh, another thing is there's um, Oracle risk, of course, in using MakerDAO. Uh, so just keep in mind there's the Oracle risk. There's also uh, like a liquidity crunch that could come up, uh, like something like we saw on March 12th. So that's another thing. If, if let's say the price of uh, Ether were to be dropping very quickly, let's say Bitcoin and Ether are both dropping very quickly, uh, that of course could lead to a panic of trying to... Uh, you know, keep your collateralization ratio up. So again, mine currently shows that my liquidation price is around 4,500 US dollars. But again, uh, uh, that price can come very quickly in crypto, especially with the drawdowns we see. Uh, and then uh, lastly, of course, there's admin risk. So if you were to try Renbridge, keep in mind that uh, there is the ability to pause contracts still. So this is very new. The REN team has been very forthcoming about this. Uh, it's there just in case, obviously, something unforeseen happens, uh, but that that is there. So it, this is not a truly trustless application. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then um, I think the last thing I could think of is if you use one-inch exchange, like there's always a chance that... Uh, there could be some like awful swap rate there. They do a great job at one inch of, you know, bringing the, the best rates and the least amount of slippage. But again, pay close attention to what you're doing there. Uh, Ren Bitcoin is very illiquid on the Ethereum network still. And so you could end up with a really, really awful swap rate here if you're trying to swap more than the smaller amounts that I did today. Uh, other than that, uh, good luck and as always, this is not financial advice. I'm here to kind of showcase the journey that I'm on um, using these different applications and you should do your own research uh, and be very cautious using any, any of these applications. Um, thanks so much and follow me at DeFi underscore dad on Twitter and you should subscribe to uh, uh, the defiant uh, dot dot com. Uh, and you can also find some of my videos on uh, the Bankless YouTube channel.